Let's take a look at this particular question for our sales journal and our sales returns journal. Nosipo entered into the following transactions for her business, Best Skincare, during November 2013. She's a VAT vendor and all the amounts quote, given are quoted VAT inclusive. This we've got to be very careful about. Oops. We've got to be very careful about this. We've got to make sure that we realize that all the numbers that we've given, been given and all the amounts we've been given represent 114% of the selling price, right? So every number you're looking at represents 100% of the selling price as well as the 14% that the receiver wants. So we've got to take the VAT out of those figures and we're going to have to calculate what the sales amount means to Nosipo. She wants to know what her 100% is and everything that's quoted here is going to be 114%. So we've got to make sure we can split that out. So we want to be very careful how we do our calculations and make sure we know whether we're dealing with inclusive or exclusive amounts. Gives us a whole bunch of transactions. All of these are going to relate to the sales journal or the sales returns journal. Let's take a look at the first one. Nosipo sold product to skin salon, invoice 85 for 570 Rand on account. And that's what we want to be aware of, right? Because if we said she sold it to them for cash then this would go into the cash receipts journal but because I've said it is on account it means that she's not going to see that money today she's holding that and they're going to pay her at the end of the month so let's take a look at our sales returns journal or sales journal sorry and I've given you the format for that you're going to have to excuse my handwriting it is quite terrible so I'm going to abbreviate a little bit because uh, I'm not naturally right-handed <laughs> I am left-handed so this is going to be a little terrible we have our sales journal <laughs> and this is for, we've got to show that it is for November 2013. Okay, as you can see my handwriting is beautiful and we need to make sure that we show our folio number. This is SJ1. In an exam you're going to have to draw up your columns yourself so you need to make sure that you are able to do that and you can do that in the time given. The invoice number that we were quoted, she's got invoice number 85. So we've got invoice 85. Yes, that's supposed to be an eight. It was on the third and it is to Skin Salon. I'm just going to write is Salon. It is to Skin Salon and there's no folio because I'm not posting it at this particular point in time. And the VAT inclusive amount we were told was 570 Rand. So the debtor's control amount, the amount that her customer is actually going to pay her in cash is going to be 570 Rand at the end of the month. What we have to do is figure out a way to get that from 570 to our exclusive amount and calculate our VAT. Keeping in mind again that your amount here represents 114% of the sale. I want to figure out what 100% of the sale means to Nasipo and I want to figure out what 14% is. So in terms of my debtors or in my calculation, my 570 divided by 114 times 100 is going to give us 500. Okay, 570 minus 500 means that we have 70 Rand VAT that goes to the receiver. We could also calculate that by saying 570 divided by 114 times 14 would give us 70. 500 plus 70 equals 570. That is our exclusive and our VAT amount. Let's cross that out. We've dealt with that one. Invoice number 86 was made out to Skin Sense. Again, on credit. We're looking for words that mean that it's on credit or that it's on account for 684 Rand. So on the fifth, she made out invoice number 86. Let's write my 86 in there. This was on the 5th and this was made out to skin. And again, I'm just going to write sense. Wow, handwriting's pretty bad. And in this case, it was for 684 Rand. If we take 684 divided by 114 multiplied by 100, you'll find that the amount is 600 and 684 minus 600 is 84 or 684 divided by 114 times 14 gives you 84 your vat and we've dealt with the second one skin salon returned products to the value of 171 rand she made out credit note number 23 so because they've returned products it means that we need to create a sales returned journal or a sales returns journal 
for the value of 171 Rand. So we're going to create our sales returns journal. I've given you the format for that as well. Sales returns. And again, this is going to be for November 13. And please make sure you remember to reference your document SRJ1. The only difference between this and your sales journal is the fact that this is to record your sales returns. So your document number, in this case, she said she's made out CN23. So CN23 on the 8th. The details, she made it out to Skin Salon. No folio because we're not uh, posting it to the general ledger as yet. And the amount for that, oh, I'm sorry, I think I got the detail for that one wrong. No, it was for Skin Salon, was amount for 171 Rand. Again, that is the inclusive amount. We were told all amounts are inclusive of that. Again, even with the returns, the debtors control represents 114. The sales return itself, your VAT exclusive amount is 100% of the amount, and this would be 14% of the amount. So your 171 divided by 114 times 100 will give you 150. 171 minus 150 is going to give you 21. And that's number eight, or that's the date of the eighth. T Henson bought accounts or bought products on account. She made out invoice number 87 for 855. So invoice number 87, and that was on the 17th to T Henson. Whoops. And the amount for that was 855. 855 divided by 114 times 100 gives you 750. 855 minus 750 gives you 105. And that's the 17th. On the 26th, Skin Sense returned goods. So we're dealing with our sales returns journal. She made out credit note number 24 for 228. So it's Skin Sense on the 26th. So it's in with uh, credit note number 24 on the 26th. Oops. And it's to Skin Sense. And it was for 228. 228 divided by 114 times 100 is 200. And 200. 28 minus 200 gives me 28. That's the 26th. And the last one, Skin Salon, bought more products from her on credit. She made out invoice number 88 for 513. So 88 on the 28th was again for Skin Salon. And the amount was for a total of 513. 513 divided by 114 times 100 is 450. 450 minus 513 is 63. And there we have our amount and we've dealt with all of them. Okay, so prepare the sales journal. We've done prepare the sales returns journal. Post the totals at the end of the month to the relevant account in the general ledger and post the VAT to the VAT output account. We'll take care of that in the next video. In the meanwhile, we recalculate all of these. We add them up, make sure that they all add up. So when we take all of our amounts to our general ledger, we need our totals. So this is going to be 322. Our sales are 2,300. And our debtors control is 2622. So the totals that she's made for the month, the sales she's made for the month represents 2,300. That on top of that, 322, gives her debtors control of 2622. Um, the VAT output here, we've got 49. Oh, count is terrible. And we've got 350. And we've got 300 and 99. 
So in terms of her returns, she's returned 350 rands worth of sales, or she's had that returned. With that, on top of that, at 49 is 399. If you take this 350 and you multiply it by 14%, you'll find that it is 49. So 350 times 14% will give you your 49, which shows you that 14% of 100. Again, just please make sure that you're comfortable with all of your VAT calculations. In the next video, I'll show you how to post all of these to the general ledger.